All right. So it's freaking 1 a.m. on Saturday, which is flea market day. So it is no longer Saturday. And I haven't been able to rearrange my house because people kept barging in to look at my wares. And of course, here at 1.13, my newest resident, Little Frigga Penguin, waltzes in and says, Hey, I might actually want to buy something here. I'm trying to rearrange. Did you see this candle? It wasn't here. My, my Patra? Let's talk. 9999 <laughs> Oh, stop sweating it, Frigga. Sure. 2500 And O spells no. Can't you get that through your thick beak? Okay, okay. What about 1,200? But that's only because you're my friend. <laughs> fine, fine, fine. How about 999? All right, 800. But that's as low as I'll go. Stop sweating. 725. Never. What else are you gonna look at? Don't look at my. Cl don't look at this because it's my only place that I could store things. If you're looking at my grandfather clock, I like that too much. Get it, get away. Stop it. Move. Not selling. Are you gonna look at my candle? That's my only light source. Get, how about this nice little metronome? Go to the metronome. I will sell you the blah, metronome. Did you leave? No, you're still here. No, didn't I say that's not for sale? Alright, I'm leaving. Where if somebody else comes in, I'm gonna be so angry. I tr I need time to rearrange my house. Where was I putting this? Here? Wait, where's the front of this thing? All right, my sofa. That's all I can fit in here. You know what? I do want my cabin clock over there. It's like a Zelda puzzle. My only source of light. I'm still awake, Boone. Oh, gone out for a run. What are you doing out, Frigga? It's past your curfew. And go to sleep. Tell me a story, Frigga. I've been tried orange pico tea. You're still not going to sleep and you're tired. What are you doing? Crazy. Oh yeah, this is the pitfall I dug up so that Egbert could fall in it. I'm not your best buddy. We're still in this flea market thing? Sure. What is this? You can't have it. I wasn't gonna take it for free, Eggbutt. What's this? I can't have nothing around here. This robot. Do I want a robo clock? Deal! Remember, don't fall into that hole. That trap. A zoid. Gabby's outside? I keep telling her it's unsafe. Everybody's out, so that's- I guess it's okay. Mitzi? Mitzi? We have so many flowers, Mitzi. Gabby, what are you doing? What? Who'd you think I was? Oh yeah, I have the hockey mask on. <laughs> why, why are you afraid of Frigga? Give me news. Oh, a spider, eh? <laughs> All bugs aren't always on trees, Gabby. I did go to college. I'm guessing that you didn't. You uneducated bunny. Hey, Boon Boy, what's going on? You don't like my hockey mask? I'm killing time. And eventually, you. What? A weird looking physique? Show me. <laughs> what the heck is a skull crusher? Never. Mitzi the cat is like my best friend here. She was the first one to come over to see my house after I moved in. And then she noticed that I needed a clothes closet. And then the next day she mailed me one, which was what real friends do. But then today, earlier, she came by and then she's like, oh, that's a great clothes closet. How much are you asking for? And I said, you gave it to me. Who are you? Wolfgang. <laughs> That's because I like to run around at night wearing a hockey mask and a Serengeti hat. 
It's not that low. I'm not a hobbit. But I do need a bigger house. But I need money for that. Are you willing to spare? Who's Agent S? I didn't know somebody else moved in. Okay, we've got Frigga. We've got Boone. I've got Portia. Now I've got Agent S. Who are you? I'm coming in. <laughs> it's a superhero squirrel. A gray superhero squirrel. <laughs> Who are you? Why are you talking about miso soup? That's right. Why are you calling me a sidekick? You're so full of yourself. You're funny, little squirrel. You're real funny. I need a superhero mask. I'm Casey Jones. That's who I am. Of the Serengeti. Frigga. Okay. Portia. I'm coming in. Why? What's wrong? What's going on, Portia? Why are you so sad? Uh-oh, you're sick. Oh, no. I don't need you. <laughs> oh, no. You're infected. Don't you know we have to social distance when you're infected? At least wear a mask. <laughs> Do I look okay to you? No. Do you need medicine? There is no vaccine. Good thing I'm wearing a mask. <laughs> oh no, she is sick. Why can't you afford medicine? Remember, you can only treat the symptoms and not the disease. Not yet, there is no cure. Guys, we have a problem. Don't let Portia out of her house. She needs to be quarantined for two weeks. Till she's better. Okay, Frigga? Did you hear me, Frigga? Tell me anything at all. I'm not that rich, but I do want to visit another town. There's a bug. Poor Portia can't sleep. She's infected. I'll have to alert the mayor. We'll have to board up her house and send food through the window. Nitsi, how come you're asleep? I want to hear what you have to say. You've got a very nice garden. Give me it. Maybe I should write letters to people. Dear Portia, don't forget to self-quarantine for two weeks. We will send Foyd through your chimney. Thanks. I did not see that typo. But she'll get what I mean. I mean, we could send her food through the mail, too. I'll give her a peach. A Georgia peach. If I can find a Georgia peach. Here we are. Hey, Phyllis. I got a letter for you. Send it. I already gave it to you! The jerk! No, I don't have any other letters, Phyllis. You snooty purple pelican. I guess we're done talking. No, we're not! I need you to tell me about the town. I will not quit bothering you. I can read your mind. I'm... I'm moving. <laughs> it's like baloney. <laughs> you need more trees, eh? I'll fix that. The journey to the perfect town. Planted so many Georgia peach trees. Out of the way, Boone. All right, fellas. Looks like this is the end for today. Hopefully, Portia will self-quarantine, like I said, and be cured. And then we'll have antibodies to be able to extract from her so that we could use them to fend off our virus. For good. See you later.